What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Have You Nerd. Today we're going to take a look at the Prime One Studios One Third Scale Grim Knight. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Oh, and this is a picture of my son next to the shipping box just to show you the scale and size of the box. It's massive. So, yeah, let's jump into this. It don't make no sense. Why would you do it? Why would you do that? Why would you try and mess with the Batman? It's futile. It is. Yo, remember Heath Ledger's tried to? Psh, I mean, mean, the Batman's got armor and we know it's a martial arts, a movie Tyson, 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 and then ching 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 ching. Don't worry, I got armor and then martial arts. Come on. All you got is a purple suit and some pancake makeup. Come on. That skit always cracks me up. Cam Peel cracked me up just in general. They're hysterical and can't mess with the Batman dogs. I mean, especially not this Batman. This Batman is badass. If you're not familiar with the Grim Knight, it's from the Dark Knight's Metal uh, storyline by Scott Snyder, and he pulls the Joker, Batman, I don't even want to get into it, the Batman who laughs, Joker slash Batman pulls all these Bruce Wayne's in and Batman's from other dimensions. Not all of them are Batman. Some of them are just like Bruce Wayne, I think. But um, regardless, he pulls in this one Batman who, where Batman notoriously doesn't use guns because they killed his parents. This Batman uses nothing but guns and kills all the criminals. So... Imagine Punisher mixed with Batman. Here's the instruction sheet, which is a lot of steps, because, again, he comes with a lot of guns. Like, Punisher Max mixed with Batman, it's it's insane. All these are the guns that go behind him on the base and fan out, create that fan effect behind the Grim Knight. I'll just show you the paint job on a few of them, because, I mean, they're all painted great. This one even has the... 50 caliber, whatever, the markings engraved in it, or it's supposed to look like it, so you can see the weathering around the chamber there where the bullets go in, I'm not huge on guns, I don't know all my guns, I know some of these are fantasy sci-fi guns, I think one of them might even be the gun from Alien, one of the marine alien rifles, so yeah, but I mean, this is an assault rifle, whatever, I don't know, but the guns are very well painted. Again, I'll just show you a few of them because it get it's kind of redundant just to show you how nicely painted they all are. And they are all very nicely painted, all a little different. The weathering in different spots depending on what kind of gun it is and where it would get weathered. You got the wooden magazine and wooden grip there on the AK. Another assault rifle here. Again, this is just like the very top layer of the box. All the guns that just go on the base. None of these guns go on Batman's person. So the next layer is, you guessed it, more guns. It reminds me of that old PSA from the 90s. You remember the one. Appearance demonstrates having a lax policy about dress makes it easy for a student to conceal a weapon and makes it difficult to identify intruders on campus. A dress code can reduce weapons violations, relieve tensions between gangs, reduce disciplinary infractions, and generally improve the atmosphere of the school. Our policy requires that students tuck in their shirts, making the belt line visible at all times. Our students may not wear baggy pants or colors and insignias that are commonly associated with gang activity. This policy was a collaborative effort between the parents, teachers, and the <laughs> yeah, so Batman's basically that kid. The guy has mad guns on him. And again, this is the second layer of the way they ship it. Second, like, styrofoam layer. There's the uh, big knife he carries on him. And then the sword that goes in the background. The sword, I think, is the only piece that goes in the fan out base. Um, that's in the second layer of packaging here. It's all mostly all the guns he carries in his hands and on his person. And then the third layer is the base, the Batman body, the whole torso and legs, and then I believe the the 
Joker bodies on here. I know that in the head from the base, but I believe the Batman's um, swap out arms are tucked in that final layer too. But yeah, the way it comes shipped is not so important, but this is what's important. The way it looks, the way it displays, how sick this thing is. There's the bottom of it. I got number 361 out of um, 1,000, I believe, or maybe 1,500 of these. I forget how many of these were made. I'll put it in, if I remember, the words there on the screen, because uh, I can't remember. Okay, sorry to just cut the video like that, but I went to go check how many edition size was on this, and I thought it was weird. Sideshow doesn't have it on their website for either the exclusive or collector's edition, so I had to go back to my video, pause it, and zoom in, and as you can see there, it's edition size of a thousand for the exclusive version, and I don't know what the collector's version is, but yeah, there it is. I thought that was odd, so let's get back to the video. Okay, so yeah, this base is just fire. You got the bullets, you can see the green discolorization from there, whatever, how it's discolored from just moss or whatever growing on it. You know, I don't know what makes stone turn green like that over time. Then you flip it around, the back is just as good looking. All the cracks look legit, real chains. You got the bat symbol on there all engraved into the stone those are real nails real chain you can see the rust lines from like the nails the water over time it look all looks so real the attention to detail because that's how the rust would drip down in kind of a line like that from one nail to the next and yeah the base is on point the two skulls look really good all the cracks throughout the base the paint job it looks legit it looks good the bullets, the bullets are probably the weakest part on it, but they still look good. Uh, it definitely fits the character, the motif, the d design, and whatever, the whole appeal and look of the character. For sure, mad guns, arm to the teeth, so two ammo belts at his feet definitely makes sense, but... And this is just nitpicking, the whole base looks good, it looks great, but the stone looks natural, and almost real where the ammo belts you could tell are painted and they kind of look a little stiff the way that they're wrapped around there so that's the joker chest i'm putting on the front there the joker head you've seen i put the batman body on then i'm gonna put the joker hands on but do not use this as an instructional video please because i think i did this all wrong i think according to the instructions you're supposed to put the guns in the back and fan them out so that way the body's not in your way or at all because it's close to some of the keyholes there. But yeah, there's a ton of guns. It took me forever. I had to keep referring to the instructions back and forth. This is the katana, the keys in the back there. It's real metal, real nice paint job. But yeah, this just took me forever. One hour later. Ever. Two hours later. Ever, man. This took so long. You can see more guns added every time it cuts back. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. We have all the guns finally installed in the base in the right order, the way they go. And yeah, again, it was tricky. A lot of keyholes, a lot of guessing, a lot of trying and process of elimination you know first i brought only a couple guns out and then i brought them all out and i said i'm putting in which ones i can tell the keyhole goes in there and whatever's left it'll be easier to figure out and that's kind of how i did it because even with the instructions it was a it was a bit much to kind of figure it all out or i'm just dumb one or the other probably a mixture of both but i mean look at this guy the batman who laughs the detail on him alone is like almost a full 1A scale or 1 6 scale Batman who laughs sculpted into the base. So it's half his body right there. So you kind of get another one half 
of a one six scale statue or whatever and look at the all the cracks on the stone on his head the boots the boots have like a spattering of mud on them his armor here the bat blades i don't know what the hell you call those sticking out of his shin guards there his knee pads with the battle damage the scrapes in them chest has battle damage battle damage all over this thing and yeah we'll get to more detail and close-ups a little bit later and we're gonna just finish building the statue here i just wanted to show all the guns finally in the base and what that looks like so here's the uzi gripping hands he comes with the two twin uzis and you could put those on apparently they're supposed to be on kind of the more straight arms the extended out arms and i originally put them as you can see here on the bent elbow arms which are supposed to carry the big guns which makes more sense because if you put the big guns on the straight out arms they'd probably be too heavy and slide off the key would probably slide right out of the hand and fall so but i managed to get the uzis on the bent arms by accident so if anybody else gets a statue or is ordering a statue it is possible the keys do fit in there because they're a little bit bigger for the other hand so they, it works and uh yeah every gun is on his back except for this pulse rifle green gun whatever kind of gun that is because uh i didn't realize it went on before and i'll put it on later and you'll see but for now i just left them off and this is pretty much the full statue assembled with the uzis on the bent arms because you have multiple arm swap outs and gun swap outs and head swap outs so this is one version and look again look at the batman who laughs look at his mouth how like grimy it looks the boots you can see the mud splatter and again we'll go over more detail a little later he finally got all the guns on his person he's got that big ass sword i i, I don't want to call it a knife because that's like a sword on his hip he's got extra magazines one gun on each hip one gun on each shoulder holster tons of pouches extra magazines extra clips and then he's got the four big ass guns on his back and then the one that tucks underneath that so five on his back I, I can't this guy comes with so much guns so much stuff to put on and swap outs it's it's amazing honestly it's how they fit all of these weapons onto this one statue it really is amazing like he has more guns than any deadpool action figure or statue or anything i've ever seen so here's the green blaster rifle and it just keys in to those two slots on the back where the straps are so it looks like it's being held on with those leather straps there underneath these four other guns so that's the reason i left it off earlier is because i keyed these four guns in and didn't realize you were supposed to key that one in before you put these on his back so now that i got the green rifle keyed in hanging off the butt there now I can key these four back in, and he has those all strapped to his back somehow. I don't know how you manage to crisscross and strap those four giant guns to your back, but it's a comic book, and it's Batman, so whatever. It looks dope as fuck. And here's the back of the base, since I have him turned around with him fully assembled, all the guns on there, well, besides his head. So you get a better look of what the back would look like here if you were looking at it displayed from the back which nobody's going to display it from the back but they did not skimp on any details look at the elbow pads appropriately scratched up all the belts and stuff you see going around his legs the materials look great the shoulder pads all the pads look like proper like leather and armor everything all everything looks like the proper material is supposed to be the metal looks metal the leather looks leather the armor looks armor you know the armor be armor and the boots be booting look at the mud on the boots the leather straps going around the i mean come on man 
this thing is on point. Look at all the detail. Look at the detail on the hands. Battle damage. The way the paint is slightly worn on the metal. The Uzis, the paint job on these whatever submachine guns. I don't know if they're Uzis. It's amazing. Look at the scope. The way the scope has like kind of a bronze tint to it due to weathering. Like it's an older, rusted, different metal. It's, it's really good. And then he's got a proper knife, like a Bowie knife, strapped to his shoulder belt there. Because that one on his hip is not no knife. I don't know what the hell you call that thing, but it ain't just a knife. That thing's a mini sword. And uh, here's one of the head sculpts. The one without the bandana around his face. So pretty much regular standard Batman that you would see with the cowl on. Which is really, really nicely done. Nicely painted. The stubble on the face. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera. But the stubble looks great. The lips. The eyes. The cowl. The cowl has nice sculpture and texture to it. And yeah. I mean, this head sculpt looks good. You can see the handkerchief around the neck. That's the extra piece you put on to show look at all the battle damage the the metal clips on his front the extra magazines all the scrapes and scratches on the armor it really sells the realism to me that's like they the, the battle damage looks really good the armor looks really good yeah i'm really digging the grim knight i love this guy i love the character when he was introduced i love the punisher and I love Batman. You mix the two together. And yeah, he looks amazing. Here's a secondary head sculpt. So this is the one with the bandana around his head. I believe this is uh, exclusive to the bonus exclusive version. I don't know if this came with the collector's edition. Came with both head sculpts. Or if it was the extra guns that are exclusive. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. But I know this is exclusive edition and the collector's edition. Obviously, exclusive comes with more. But I don't know if they both come with the same heads and just different guns. But here are some of the gun swap outs. He comes with this big ass grenade launcher. You can have one grenade launcher, one submachine gun. Or you can have the two submachine guns. Again, I had him with the arms bent, or you can have him with the um, extended arm down like that. So, all, all different types of options for this guy. And let me tell you, this guy is busting. He, he looks really, really good in person. I was highly impressed. And the sniper rifle, probably my favorite gun swap out and gun that he comes with, period. That sniper rifle is freaking massive and it's got the grenade launcher on the bottom there the whatever you, i don't know what you call this gun with the m4 i think it's called in call of duty or whatever the m4 grenade launcher attachment on the bottom of the sniper with the scope the scope is huge like this gun is almost to scale with like me like if i hold it it'd be like a mini gun it's huge and yeah again my favorite gun that he comes with is that uh Sniper scope gun with the grenade launcher on the bottom. Sick. And uh, I kind of like them with the two big guns, but I like them maybe a little better with the one submachine gun and one big gun. I'd probably go submachine gun and sniper, personally, with the masked up head scope 90% of the time. So that's how I probably prefer them. That's my favorite look on them. Let me know what your favorite look would be, what you would display them with, or if you're planning on getting them, what you are going to display them with. But yeah, for me, it's the bandana and one submachine gun and the sniper. And he comes with these fists, which are really nice, nicely painted. It's nicely through us in the option to have him punching something or somebody or just making a fist in anger. But come on, come on. Who's going to use plain old fists when he comes with all of this? But, yeah. Let me know if you plan on using a fist also in the comments. I'm curious if anyway would display him with a fist. But, yeah, that's my Grim Knight Prime 1 one-third scale video. Thanks for watching.
Till next time, peace out, y'all. Jim carries y'all. Jim carries. Come on, riddle me this, riddle me that, mans. How's Ace Ventura gonna mess with Batman? Well How's Ace well Ventura? Played.